Good morning. Happy Thursday. Get you up on the screen. Come on, Facebook. You can do it. There we go. All right. Good morning. I hope you all had a wonderful night's rest. I know I slept like a rock. I still, eight hours isn't cutting it. <laughs> I need a good 12 hour night is what I need. <laughs> oh, I feel like I haven't had one in forever. I need a long night. All right. So, sweet Kathy Cummings brought me Sprouted blueberry muffins. These are Jessica Meyer's recipe. Don't they look good? Look at them. They smell amazing. So I really want those for breakfast. So that's awesome, Cindy. I'm glad to hear that. I I, I feel like I, I mean, I might, even though I've switched back to days successfully and I'm getting eight hours, I just feel worn out. It, it, my night shifts from until Sunday just wore me out. Gross. That's a rotten berry in my berries. Yuck. Um, man, really rotten. So I just feel like I need... I need a, a day and night of just chill. That's what I need. So, all right. I am going to make the world's strangest coffee. Probably not the world's strangest, but I saw, I was looking up weird coffee recipes. And I saw this recipe on the Pinterest for strawberry coffee lattes. There is a whole bunch of strawberry lattes out there that don't have coffee. There's some matcha ones. There's some just strawberry that sound really amazing, but this one has coffee in it. <laughs> that's right. It doesn't have eggs in it, so that's a good thing. So I'm going to try making this. I don't know what it's going to taste like. I'm going to put four berries in there. So it's going to be a fuel pull. Not a sipper, but a fuel pull. I'm going to give it a try. This is not... The recipe I saw had like 100 weird ingredients in it. And by weird, I mean sugar. Nobody wants sugar, do they, Bass? You here for a berry? You coming over begging mighty early. You want to come over here and have it say hi to the ladies? Come on, say hi. Oh, oh, right in the gut. Come here. There you go. Hopefully you saw him pass all the junk on my counter. He likes to say good morning. Not really, he just likes to eat. Morning Joyce, I just started. Just started. Um, so I have some berry wow spread in my fridge. I could have just used that, but no, I like to make it more complicated. I'm gonna put a little gentle sweet in there and I'm just gonna mash them up with my zinger zing them up oh i should brew some coffee i need cold brew in my fridge for all these iced coffees so remember what i said maybe if you were on yesterday i said that my pods were getting grind grinds all through my coffee and getting stuck in the thing because they didn't have a cover on them well I looked it up. Sure enough, there's there's Perfect Pod and there's Perfect Pod 2.0. Perfect Pod is designed different and has filters with lids. I mean, is this one the Perfect Pod uses these filters, and then Perfect Pod 2.0, which I have, uses lids. So I ordered the wrong stupid filters. So. I ordered some new ones. Yes, I ordered the wrong ones. So I ordered some new ones and they'll be here in a few days. Meanwhile, I just have to deal. 
because it is what it is. So well. I'm not so much of a diva. I can't handle a ground or two. All right. I'm a diva, but not that much of a diva. I'm wanting to get away from plastic K cups. They get pricey. Yeah. They are pricey, Joyce. They aren't they? I just ordered a pack of K cups yesterday. Um that have different flavors. They're Starbucks and they have like they had a bunch of the graham cracker. That's why I bought it. I mean it was twenty for forty, which was a pretty good deal. Um, but they are, they are expensive. I mean forty for twenty. Did I say twenty for forty? Forty for twenty. But I like the I like the personal K cup. If I have a K cup machine, I like this one cup at a time thing. So I like the little filters. All right, uh, Amy. I've been thinking about that, getting a French press and trying it out. I'm nervous. I'm not much of a coffee connoisseur. I don't know if I could do it. I'm nervous. All right, let me zing this up. <laughs> I need to add a little bit of water because I want this more like a sauce. tall mason jars Cheryl got me because I love these things these are my favorite glasses Cheryl if you're watching and if you're not if you see it later and if you don't watch it later then you'll never know that I said it but nonetheless these are my favorite I love these things they're the perfect size I don't know does it make stronger coffee who mentioned having a French press? Amy. Is the coffee stronger with that? All right, what am I going to do? I'm going to do sauce first. Um, good question, Angela. I don't know. I'll have to look. I bet they're on Amazon. I could probably get you a link. All right, okay, strawberry sauce. I'm gonna put ice over that, because this is what they did. I want crushed ice. So let me get some crushed ice. of it I will Joyce I will I love my I, I will I'll put it on link tree I'll put it on the link tree I love love my coffee maker Joyce it's awesome my mommy bought it for me actually no it was hers and she gave it to me because she didn't like it or she didn't use it or I don't know, but it is a good coffee maker. It has served me well. All right. I'm going to do about a cup of almond milk and a scoop 
This is my protein this morning because I don't think my sprouted muffins really have any protein. I'm going to do a scoop of strawberry whey. This is going to be a big coffee. <clears throat> This is like making, um, oh, I probably should, Anne. My memory is terrible, you guys. That should be part of my routine, setting up my GoPro, putting on an apron. I mean, I'm still wearing what I slept in. <laughs> Isn't it awful? I see all you people every morning, and I can't even get dressed for you. What kind of person does that make me? <clears throat> Lazy. <laughs> That's what kind of person shows up in her jammies. And you know what? I don't have to leave the house today except to take my daughter to camp, and I don't have to get out of the car for that. So I don't plan on getting out of these jammies today. I'm going to wear them all day while I work. I don't even have any video meetings that I have to worry about. All right, strawberry milk. It's too full. That looks good, just the way it is, to be honest. All right, and then we're gonna pour coffee over that, but, well, I was gonna sweeten it, but I got enough sweetener in there. And then pour coffee over that. And spill it all over the counter at the same time. This would be better with Vietnamese coffee, like dark, you know, that real dark coffee for espresso. I don't know, it sounds weird. Could be amazing, could be horrible. I'm gonna use a big fat smoothie straw so I can get those strawberry chunks. It's pretty, look. It's very pretty. Let's give that a go. Strawberries taste amazing. Mmm. That's really strange and really good. It's very bizarre. I'll say that. It's really weird. It's really good, you guys. It's so strange. Coffee flavored coffee flavored strawberries like it is it's strawberry coffee Melissa it's a strawberry latte hmm <laughs> look at that it's pretty it's really good I'm really surprised at how good that is <clears throat> Token. Coffee. Who can make this much of a mess making a stupid coffee? That is really good. I'm going to put it on my website. Right, Anne? Oh, I'm going to do that next time. Uh, oh, Anne. My brain, when you said that, just went... I'm going to make banana split coffee with chocolate and banana and strawberries and maybe some pineapple extract. <gasps> banana split coffee. I'm totally doing that. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow I will make banana split coffee. I think that's genius, Anne. All right. That was a short video. <laughs> Have I ever made a video that short before? I don't even know how long it was. Oh, uh, all right. Let's see, I got grounds all through the bottom of my cup. Gross. Anywho, all right, guys. 
You would might like it, Melissa. It's delicious. It's really quite tasty. I don't want to mix it up because I want to take a pretty picture of it. Right? <laughs> That's a good point, Sarah. I had a dream last night, you guys, that I was down to... <laughs> I had started some new med for something. I don't even know what it was. And it made me lose a lot of weight. And I was down to 138 pounds and nobody noticed. <laughs> nobody noticed that... <laughs> that <laughs> Cindy, she won't let go of my toast video. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Anyway, I lost 138 pounds, or I was down to 138 pounds and nobody noticed if I had lost weight or not. And I'm walking around this room with all these people from my past, people I grew up with, people I had worked with, all this stuff, and nobody knew that I had lost weight. And I was like, trying to show it off, like, check it out. And nobody noticed. Like, I was full on diva walking. And nobody recognized that I had lost weight. And then my sweet little grandmother, who has passed, <laughs> walks by. And I have just been looking at fa old family photos. And there was a picture of her looking. There was a picture of her in her younger years. She was in her 40s. And so in my dream, she's in her 40s. She's got darker hair. but she, And she's pudgier than she was when she was older. And she walks by in front of me. <laughs> She was wicked sassy. My grandmother was sarcastic, sassy, and hilarious. And she walked by and she looked me up and down and went, I thought you were trying to lose weight and then kept walking. <laughs> so I think what my dream is telling me is that I need to stop worrying about what other people think of my weight loss and start worrying about what I think of my weight loss. Because <laughs> in my dream, I'm mad because nobody cares. Well, why does it matter what anybody else thinks? It doesn't. It doesn't. Does it feel good when other people notice you've lost weight? Yes, it does. But I'm the only one that matters in this journey. Let's face it, for my journey and my weight loss, but my grandmother, I thought you'd lost, we're trying to lose weight and then walked off. <laughs> oh my word. Um, so I saw a question about my recipes back here. Technical question, are all of your recipes now copyrighted? I don't know. I don't know anything about all that stuff. It's on my website, that's all I know. I want to share it to Pinterest, but I, I can't figure it out. <laughs> I'm a technical idiot. I think the only way it works on Pinterest is if other people find it. Like, I share them to Pinterest, but then other people have to share, I have to pin them in order for it to like circulate. And I don't know how to get, I don't get, I don't get it. I have a Pinterest board you can follow if you want. Um, and I pin recipes out there all the time. And if I make a recipe that I saw on the web, the interwebs, I pin it and say it was one that I made in a video, if it's one I found out there. But, all right, you guys. I hope you all have a blessed day. Oh, Amy, I'm glad. Because it, it's so true that, oh, they do, Sarah? See, I don't know how any of that works. I don't get it. All right, I gotta go wake my kid up for camp and I gotta put ribs in the smoker. We're gonna smoke some ribs today in my jammies. I'm gonna go out there and check them a bunch of times in my ugly striped jammies for the whole neighborhood to see. So, all right, you guys, I love you. Have a go off plan. So stay on plan today and go be a blessing to someone today. It's a good day to be a blessing to someone else. Go subscribe. <laughs> My gosh, I tried to hold off until I was done. Whew. It didn't work. Go subscribe on Pinterest, not Pinterest, Instagram. 
What's the other one? YouTube. If you're watching this later on YouTube, hit the like button. That one down there in the corner. Hit the like button. Share all that fun stuff. I love you all. Have a blessed day, and I will see you all back tomorrow morning for banana split coffee. All right, guys.